What's happening around the world? It's time for another serving of news bites. 最近国内外发生哪些大事？午餐搭配 ISRT News Bites， 慢慢的一口接一口，吸收最新时事和趣闻。Hi there, and welcome to a new episode of News Bites. I'm Nancy Sun, and I'm Clifford Chu. In today's news, the post office issues leopard cat stamps. Space tourists visit the International Space Station, and the Simpsons will feature a deaf character for the first time ever. All that and more coming up next. Top of Taiwan. 邮局发行石虎邮票 Post office issues leopard cat stamps to promote conservation. The leopard cat is the only surviving cat native to Taiwan. 石虎是台湾仅存的野生猫科动物。It is a little bigger than a house cat. Its fur, mao, has brown spots. It has two white stripes, tiao wen, on its forehead, a toe. The cats are carnivores. 肉食动物 which means they only eat other animals. They hunt mice, birds, lizards, and other prey for food. They are not carnivores. They eat mice, birds, lizards, and other prey for food. They are not carnivores. They eat mice, birds, lizards, and other prey for food. They are not carnivores. They eat mice, birds, lizards, and other prey for food. They are not carnivores. They eat mice, birds, lizards, and other prey for food. There are less than 500 left on the island, which means they are endangered. Bing Wei. Zhonghua Post will now have Taiwan leopard cat stamps to raise awareness, 意识 about the animals. The art on the stamps was drawn by artist Ke Hengtu. The post office made two leopard cat stamps. One is worth eight NT. And the other is worth twenty-eight NT. And they can be purchased, 购买 at any Zhonghua Post Office location. Going global. 太空游客参观国际太空站 Space tourists visit the International Space Station. Have you ever wanted to take a vacation in space? 你有没有想过去太空度假 Well, three people did just that. On April eighth, the three space tourists were launched into space on a rocket. These three space tourists were launched into space on a rocket. They docked, 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 They will spend ten days in orbit. They will be escorted by a retired astronaut, 退休太空人 for the entire trip. Each person paid fifty-five million U.S. dollars, 五千五百万美金 for the trip to space. That's about one point six billion NT, 十六亿台币 The cost includes the rocket rides, all of their meals, and accommodation. 费用包括乘坐火箭和所有的餐食和住宿。It will also give them access, 使用权 to the entire space station except for the Russian area. This is the first time that NASA, the U.S. space agency, 机构 has allowed outside visitors to the space station. However, Russians have been allowing visitors to their area of the station for several years. The trip to the station was organized, 举办 by a private company. It will organize future trips to the space station for paying customers. And by 2024, the company plans to add rooms to the station for visitors to stay in. Today's feature: 辛普森家庭将首次出现失聪角色。The Simpsons will feature a deaf character for the first time ever. The Simpsons is an animated TV show. 
It has been on TV in North America for over 30 years. 动画电视节目《辛普森家庭》已经在北美洲播出三十多年了。For the first time in the history of the show, it will have a deaf Si Chong character. The character is named Monk Murphy, and he is the son of Lisa's friend, who was a saxophone saxophone player. Because Monk is deaf, some of the characters will communicate using sign language. Because Monk is deaf, some of the characters will communicate using sign language. But characters on The Simpsons only have four fingers, so it was tricky, Quinnan, to translate Fan Yi. Some of the words. The scriptwriter Bian Chu wanted to write the episode because her brother is deaf. The recap. So, in today's news bites, the Taiwan leopard cat is the only surviving native cat on the island. There are less than five hundred left, so it is endangered. So Zhonghua Post has released stamps to raise awareness about the animals. Three space tourists were launched into space on the eighth of April. They will stay on the International Space Station for ten days. Each visitor paid fifty-five million U.S. dollars for the trip. And the Simpsons will have a deaf character on the show for the first time in its history. The show has been on TV for over thirty years. The scriptwriter wanted to write the show because her brother is deaf. And that's today's episode of News Bites. This week, we asked you to have your say about what you'd like to learn in school. Five-year-old Abby Shaw from New Taipei has a wide range of interests. Hello, Abby. I like your mommy. I like your daddy. I like I like your Elsa. I like your ice cream. That's the way you are. And that does it for this week's Have Your Say. Remember, if your comment was chosen for the show this month, we'll be sending you a gift in the mail. Make sure to tune in again next week for an all-new question. ICRT 与教育部国民及学前教育署下次继续和您聊新闻。ICRT app 和网站也能重复收听。More local and international news next time on News Bites, brought to you by the K to 12 Education Administration. Find past episodes available on the ICRT website and app.